Welcome to the Solid Edge Tips and Tricks video, Capture Fit for Commonly Assembled Parts. Using hardware or standard parts is a common practice when assembling models. Often, you need to insert the same part several times, applying similar assembly relations repeatedly over the same set of faces in mating parts. Capture Fit makes this mundane task easy and automatic. This command captures the assembly relationships and geometry used to position a part or subassembly in the assembly. You can then place the part or subassembly again later using fewer steps. Here's how. To capture the relations of an existing part, select it and click the Capture Fit button. This opens the Capture Fit dialog where you can observe all existing relations that position the part in the assembly. Add or remove those you want to capture and click OK. When you use the Capture Fit command, the relationships and faces used to position the part or subassembly the first time are stored so you can place the part using fewer steps later. When you drop the part into the assembly, faces at the placement part highlight and you are prompted to select the corresponding faces on the target part. You can also capture the relationships and geometry while a part is being assembled. Drop a part from the parts library, and just before you start adding relationships, specify that you want to capture them from the Options dialog in the command bar. Proceed with fully positioning the part while the relations and geometry are being captured in the background. Solid Edge remembers these relationships and the geometry involved. If you use the Insert Relationship to position a part, the Capture Fit command will capture a mate and an axial align relationship since these are the relationships that the Insert option actually places. When the part is placed again next time, you can fully place a part in just three clicks. Capture Fit thus stores assembly relationships to be easily reused later, making the assembly building activity faster and more pleasurable. <laughs>